Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of A Smile to Jannah <laughs> Alright guys so some of you guys have sent me this bit of news about Rosie Gabrielle a Canadian solo motorcyclist traveler who's been traveling across these countries and she's accepted Islam Naturally I didn't just want to bang it out and just cover it very briefly I wanted to go through her stuff and see what she's actually gone through and sift through her material and Alhamdulillah I feel I'm at a good position now to make this video Rosie has traveled many countries from the likes of Canada, the US, South Africa, Vietnam, Cambodia and so on but it was her travels in the Middle East and the east I don't know where Pakistan comes but I guess in the east that really affected her. Rosie lived in Oman for nine years and she enjoyed her experience there. She was also aware of the negative media portrayal of the Middle Eastern people and the Muslims so rather than being those people that just sits and moans and complains she decided to do something proactive and on a public platform that would actually reach people. So this was a big part of why I'm traveling and why I'm doing this is just to show the world and inspire people and open people's minds and show them look what's out there and look how friendly these people are. Living in Oman for nine years was all well and good but it was only when she got on her motorcycle and started traveling and meeting the forgotten people as it were that's when she started to see the real Oman and experience after experience she noticed how selfless the people actually were and how genuinely kind and peaceful. Oh we got some visitors. Hello. Sultiman here was the father from the local village that I had visited yesterday. He was very intrigued to see me alone on the side of the mountain, camping by myself and riding this giant motorbike. He then proceeded to offer his help to pack away all of my things. What an amazing, amazing fellow! Again, just reassuring my faith in humanity and people and, and, and these people they don't want anything. They don't want money, they don't want me, they just genuinely want to help. Because naturally people put her off by saying you know you're a solo woman, this can happen and that can happen. Like there's this whole stigma and thing about Muslim countries and they're so dangerous and okay I'm sure there are parts of some countries that are dangerous, yes I'm not denying that. Um, but the vast majority of these places are just full of beautiful, beautiful people. Despite her travels, she's saying none of that happened. These experiences really touched her. It is so beautiful because... Oh, sorry. I don't normally cry like this. And I can share that with the world and what a gift. What a gift and people say, why do you do it? Aren't you scared? Why do you, why do you do it? I put myself out there so I can have these human experiences myself because you can have all the things in the world, all the material things, all the gadgets, all the money in the world, but all the money in the world will not, will not give you that. Well I guess it is true when they said it's not necessarily what you say but it's how you make somebody feel when you say it. And after Oman she visited Pakistan and she noticed more things like how you know respectful the men were with regards to her chastity and again the, the selfless nature of the people there. No matter where I go I'm always around men all the time and there's not one moment where I feel threatened, where I feel scared, where I feel disrespected. And indeed we can say Pakistan is secular and this country is secular but ultimately it was the people that were following and practicing Islam that won her heart. And that's why I say the best form of dawah propagation 
is that which is done through your actions. It doesn't necessarily have to be your long speeches and your long debates and discussions. It could just be practicing an element of this beautiful faith. And that's exactly why she said this. Muslim people, like uh, I've traveled a lot and by far the most generous, kind, exactly. amazing people. And she got this from sitting with the Bedouins to sitting with the poor people or forgotten people of these countries who live their lives very simplistically following basic teachings and she got to see this and let's face it the media is not going to report this and it was the accumulation of her experiences that was enough to make her change the entire direction of her life. It is true that travel broadens the mind and let's face it, a lot of us do like to go on holidays, but we just go to the resorts, catch a bit of the sun and then come back. We don't get to meet the actual people of the country and experience the country and the culture. And when we leave these resorts to actually do so, it will increase our faith because we'll get to see the beauty that Allah's put on this planet. And I want to end with this, if Rosie or somebody else who has accepted Islam is watching this video, I just wanted to say welcome to the family, <laughs> welcome to Islam, may Allah bless you, keep you steadfast and grant you the highest ranks of paradise. It is not easy to change one's life and naturally you've been doing something for years and years. Take one step at a time and the start of any journey is difficult. Don't be put off and you guys watching don't forget to message her and show her your support inshallah and make her feel welcome. I'm gonna leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.